Well, Prez, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Glad to do it. Tell me about the One Bite Pizza Fest. So September 23rd, Coney Island, we are doing what I think is the greatest like assembly of pizza all in one roof in the history of pizza. And I'm not just saying that, but it's like 35 pizzerias, hand-picked really, when we were sitting in La Cali, but it is the best of the best. The Lacalis, the Sally's, the John's Obliquers, Umberto's, uh, Al Santillo. They're my favorite pizzas that I've ever done. Um, I didn't think it would be possible to get all these people together in one place. You know, you can eat a coal fire, guess, whatever it may be. I think I heard 90 different types of ovens will be there. Wow. Um, so there's a lot of logistical work to make it happen. And it's year one and, and they were able to pull it off. And now it looks like it's gonna be, like I said, the best pizza event ever. John's of Bleecker Street. You got the pizza I've had in now. A with the pizza. That's what a 9.2 looks like. The Farah, here we go. Double 9.4. Never been done. I like the looks of Angelo. 9.3. Brooklyn Square is a great slice. What's the highest rated slice that'll be there? We have 9.4s, 9.1s. I've probably done, I don't know, three, four, five thousand pizza reviews and we've maybe given away 29s. I think like 10 of them are at this thing. So, it is the best of the best. And we got music, we got Teddy games. Swims. Teddy Swims is the headliner music. He's gonna be a superstar. If you don't know who he is yet, you'll listen and be like, yeah, he's gonna be a superstar. The look, the vibe, the songs. Um, there'll be lawn games. It's a college football Saturday, so we'll have college football on. Go blue. Go, you, are you a Michigan person? I am. Well, here we go, we're fast friends. <laughs> yeah, so Michigan's gonna be lights out this year. So it'll be like a backyard event with great pizza. A tailgate with pizza. A tailgate with pizza, yes. Love it. All right, I do want to ask you about what happened recently. You just bought back yes. a company founded 20 years ago for a dollar. Yes. I imagine okay. you now have a lot more freedom maybe that you didn't have in the past six months or a year. What's the plan going forward now that you kind of like have much more control back over? Yeah, life? well, I can say whatever I want, which is a nice thing to be able to do. I was able to do it for probably 15 of the 20 years that I had Barstool with Penn, who owned us before, we were regulated by the government gambling. So you, you really had to watch what you say. And I had to bite my tongue more than I wanted to. Um, so that's the biggest difference. I can say and do what I want, uh, which is exciting and, you know, kind of ensure that Barcel is around for another 10, 20 years. Yeah. I know a lot of people in the media are saying, you know, good, bad, this person won, this person's the winner. But what do you guys think? I think we both won. Yeah. Um, I think Penn's happy. They partner with ESPN. And ESPN is definitely less controversial than we are, and they won't get the headaches that I brought with them. Um, from Barstool's perspective, uh, we're kind of like a pirate ship. We're a rogue pirate ship, and it's tough to uh, tell a pirate what to do. So that's good for us. Well, now you're the captain again. Yeah, right. Uh, would you say that this experience uh, teaches you anything about just being true to who you are? Yeah, being true to yourself. I started Barstool, and I've told this, other than happy making 60 grand working for myself, mm -hmm. I never dreamed it would become what it's become. Um, I think the one thing that's been true in 20 years has been really authentic to ourselves and our brand. But I don't know, it's, it, if you told Dave 20 years ago, I'd be sitting with Kali doing a pizza fest, own bar stool, and it's this big company, I'd be like, you're crazy. So it's kind of been a dream ride. What would Prez today say to Dave 20 years ago? Hold on, gra grab your pants and hold on because you're about to go on a ride that like you won't believe, honestly. Okay, one bite lightning round. Yep. Ready? Do you ever get sick of pizza? Never. What does a pizza off day look like for you? The weekend, so I don't eat it on the weekend. Monday through Friday? Every single day. Does your doctor approve of this diet? No, probably not, but when I started Barstool, I couldn't afford doctors, dentists, and even though I can't afford it, I've been too lazy, so I haven't really seen a doctor in quite a while. <laughs> so what they don't know can't hurt them. <laughs> I think it's true. Yeah. But what's your workout regimen? I don't have one. Really? Really. I was going to ask Equinox or Lifetime, but Nothing. I guess... Nothing. I have a bum shoulder. Uh, I, so I walk. I've tried to mix in walking, like walk three miles a day. Um, one review. Is there one review that you wish you could have back? Do over? Wow. No, not really. They're so organic. I'm trying to think. No, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. What businessman or woman do you admire and look up to the most? So, uh, I mean, I do admire Elon. Like, I think he's a genius, maybe a crazy genius. I know it's called off, but Elon or Zuckerberg, who would you oh, have Oh, Zuck would kill him. Really? 
Zuckerberg built an octagon in his backyard. He's so rich, all he has time to do is try to build himself into like this robot fighter. Elon doesn't care about it. He, Elon would have gotten killed and he knows it. Okay. Zoning in on the five boroughs, since we are New York one and we love the five boroughs, closest to a New Haven slice in the five boroughs. I don't know that there is. Oh, well, there is Weeded. I just went to a place called Weeded and they had a New Haven slice night and it was excellent and very close. What is your bagel order? I get two, plain onion cream cheese, basic. Okay, if you were forced to wait in line at one New York City tourist attraction, what would it be? Statue of Liberty. Hypothetical future daughter has to marry one Yankee. Who would it be? Current or all time? All time. Um, you know, I always thought the center fielder, uh, what's, I'm obviously doing the name, Benny, no, what Bernie was Bernie Williams? Bernie Williams. He's a good one. He seems like good, he can play like the saxophone, Guitar. seems like an uh, upstanding citizen. Yeah, Bernie Williams. He's a nice guy. You know him? Met him a few times. See, I have good character yeah. judgment. Will Aaron Rodgers win a Super Bowl with the Jets? Hell no, he's a hundred years old. He's a hundred years old. That's Are you a Jets like fan? Packers, so. Oh, that's I'm a good like, answer yeah. for you. No, Packers I like Aaron. I'm friends with Aaron. Aaron's older than me. Guys don't start playing at his age. They retire. All right. Well, thank you for playing lightning round. That was a great lightning round. <laughs> One Bite Pizza Festival, September 23rd. Yep. Maimonides Park. Yep. In Coney Island. Coney Island. You can get tickets at uh, the OneBitePizzaFest.com. Be there or be square. Be there or be square. I like that. Prez, thank you so much. Thanks for doing it.